Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today we are going to create uh, crumbling steps. So, what do I mean by that? Let's say you're modeling an old Medina in the desert, right? And you have steps going up to a building. You want them to be uh, worn, old, cracked, and so forth. You can also use this for a castle scene, uh, etc. All right? So we're going to start off by simply creating a polygon cube. We're going to drag that out in the grid. And let's say that's our first step. Okay. We're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. And let's give this some subdivision. So we're going to go with 4 by 4 by 4. Okay. We're going to start by rounding off this initial edge here. Okay. So right click edge. I got my soft select on, sorry. Yeah, so you got that edge. We're going to go up to Edit Mesh, and we're going to go to Bevel. And we're going to make that nice and round. So let's say 0 0.85 roughly, and we'll increase our segments to maybe 5. All right? Okay, so what's next? What we're going to do is we're going to uh, tweak the vertices a little bit, okay? So we're going to right-click, we're going to go to Vertex, and we're going to take these vertices in the middle here, and we're going to hit W, and we're going to move that in just a little bit. And the idea there is that you don't want everything to be exactly straight, considering this is very old, right? And... It's been uh, been there for ages and so forth, okay? So we're kind of going to pull these outer ends out. And this end, you know, people have been kicking into this for hundreds of years. So that's kind of, you know, worn out. We're going to do the same on the top, uh, specifically in the middle. So we're going to take these vertices here. Oops. It's a bit hard to see, so I'll just uh, get in there, okay? And we're going to bring that down, something like so. Maybe uh, here as well. Let's take these. Bring them down a bit. Okay. And then we are going to take these vertices here in the middle. These. Okay. We're going to hit B on our keyboard for our soft select. And you can increase or decrease that selection by holding down your B key, holding down your left mouse button, and drag that out or in. Okay, we're going to do something like this. And we're just going to push that down just a little and push that in. Okay, something like that. Maybe a bit more. We'll just uh, push that in. And pull that down. Okay. And we'll take this corner here. Maybe pull that up a little. Take that corner. Pull that up a little. Okay. So. This is what we got. We're going to right click. Go to object mode. Let's see what we get when we do soft select. Okay. That'll be something like this. Now, I don't like these edges here, so we're just going to go back to where we were. And we're going to add two edges here. So, Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We'll put one close to the edge here. Just hit B to turn off my Soft Select. And put one over there, like that. Hit Q on our keyboard. Right-click Object Mode. Let's try that again. That already looks a lot better. Okay, so something like that. Now, we're going to take this step here. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. Hit W to move that over. Not all the way. To give us something like that. And we're going to hit Shift D to duplicate that a few times. which will give us something like this. All right. Now let's put some cracks into these steps. All right. We're going to take, uh, let's say, step number three here. 
Now what we're going to do is we are going to go to Edit Mesh, Interactive Split Tool, and we're going to start to create a crack in the steps. So let's say one there, 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 uh, there, and there. And I'm going to go back up. Something like that, and hit enter. Okay. We're going to right click, we're going to go to face, and we're going to select these faces, and we're going to go to edit mesh, extrude, hit W, and just slightly push that in. Okay, which just will give, uh, you know, the effect of uh, a piece of rock falling out ages ago, right? And this is kind of the final effect that you get. We can do this on top as well. We'll just go to uh, Interactive Split Tool. We'll do something like... Something like that, hit enter, right click, face, I'll take these faces, edit mesh, extrude, pull it down just a bit, okay, so you get the idea, you get this little beat up effect, okay, now just to illustrate, if you want this to be uh, a bit tighter, if you know what I mean, and I'll just illustrate that with this step here. We'll go to object mode, and we'll go hit our one on our keyboard. You'll get a slightly different effect. You go to Edit Mesh, Interactive Split Tool, because now when you do the same thing, and I'll just try to illustrate that here. If you do this, right, without the soft select, and you go to right click face, and I'll just select these faces here, and you go to Edit Mesh Extrude, hit W and push that in. As you can see, and I'll just uh, compare these two, this one here looks really old uh, and so forth. This looks much more recent and cleaner, okay? You can see there's a piece of the stucco that fell out. And I'll just quickly give this a, a slightly different uh, color material. So, uh, assign new material, let's say, Lambert, make this uh, close to white, for example, okay, and we'll throw some sunlight in here, render settings, we're going to go to mental ray, indirect lighting, we're going to turn on global illumination, and physical sun and sky, okay, so now, if you look at these steps here, and I'll just try to get into that focus here. We'll just give that a sec. Okay, so this initial step here looks uh, a bit banged up, right? You can see that it's, it's rounded, it's curved, and so forth. This looks, uh, I don't know, a bit uh, off, if you know what I mean, okay? So I prefer to use this method here. Now, you can tweak that some more. You can take the vertices, uh, right-click vertex, and you can take little sections like that. 
hit your B select, push that in, pull it up. You can tweak that any way you want. Now let's say you want to simulate that this is, uh, for example, this one here, this is fairly recent. So let's say you want pieces of stucco to be on the steps here. You just simply take a polygon cube. Let's try that again. Polygon cube, something like that. Make it very thin. Hit F to zoom in. Right click, go to vertex, drag select that. And just bring that in and tweak these uh, settings until you think it's realistically looking like a piece of stucco. Right click object mode, just take that thing, pull that up, pull it in, hit F to zoom in, and we're going to rotate that a little bit. And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that in a lot. Okay. Just push that down a little like so. Hit Control D to duplicate that. E to rotate it around a bit. And we'll give it the same color. So just to select these two. Whoops. Just select these two like so. Right click, assign existing material. That will be Lambert 2. There we go. So now, if you render into that, there you go. You'll see that section of uh, stucco that fell out, right? And uh, you've got these little pieces down here. Uh, but again, I prefer to use this this uh, method down here. I think that looks a little bit better. And, uh, you know, you can tweak that any way you want, but uh, this is how I approach it. You can also do this in walls if you want to have, um, you know, some uh, some damages on a wall. And when you texture this, uh, it, it looks fairly realistic. So that's what I would go for. All right. Well, thanks you guys for watching. See you guys next time.